The beloved rapper was known for his signature staccato delivery and huge hits in the late 1990s and early 2000s like Rough Riders Anthem and Party Up. He suffered a catastrophic cardiac arrest, according to the hospital in White Plains, New York, where he died. He was rushed there on April 2nd. A three-time Grammy nominee known for leading his stadium-filled concerts in passionate prayers, the raspy-voiced MC, born Earl Simmons, publicly struggled with a drug addiction dating back to his teenage years. Known to hip-hop fans simply as X, the rapper's impact can not only be measured solely by the music charts. The Yonkers lyricist, who stood shoulder to shoulder with music giants like Jay-Z, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and LL Cool J, said Hip Hop on Fire in 1998 with the multi-platinum It's Dark and Hell is Hot. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. He followed it up with four straight Billboard chart-topping albums, including And Then There Was X. A standout member of the Rough Riders clique headed by super producer Swiss Beats, DMX also brought his bite to Hollywood, starring in 1998's cult classic Belly and appearing in Romeo Must Die with Jet Li and R&B Princess Aaliyah released in 2000. He would later join forces with Steven Seagal in 2001's Exit Wounds and with Lee again in 2003's Cradle to the Grave. But as his hits like Slippin' and How's It Going Down stayed in heavy rotation on radio, MTV, and BET, he struggled with legal troubles, often linked to his addictions, facing arrest and jail repeatedly. But DMX was also known for giving back. He surprised the Philadelphia Homeless Support Group meeting in 2017 and helped a family in Maine with its back-to-school purchases a couple of years later. Last year, DMX and Snoop Dogg were celebrated in the popular Versus series, drawing more than 500,000 viewers. DMX is survived by his mother and 15 children. Gary Gerard